Shalom, 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 chabarim, shalom. This is Ras Ayadonis Tafari. This is Yadin, Yadin Ben Chayel. Here, 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 L-O-J. L-O-J, S, the line of Jewish society was matched. You might hear in the background, was listening. I actually got to thank um, Isha Shali, Eshet Shali. You know, I and I, Isha, Eshet, Oset. I'm looking at the Hebrew, you know, the Hebrew to the other linguistics there. But, you know, I and I, wife, you know, and I, sister, and I, Ethiopian wife. Yeah, for her, you know, some things that she'll be listening to sometimes or she'll put me up on, hey, you check this out or so-and-so was speaking about this or that. And she might just point to a highlight or excerpt or might even just play the whole thing and I'll get a listen. So I've been listening to other, you know, other presenters and I give thanks for that because we'd be so like focused on the works that we're doing that um, we just be focused, you know, like put blinders on sometimes just to complete the task at hand, both with the, um, the ministry, the Rastafari ministry, also with the official Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated and the constitutional membership. So those um, are some of the two main areas and also personal things, you know, regarding I not earthly, you know, I not family, as many ones and ones, no doubt, you know, are about. But here, just to touch on, um, just to address right here, testify, testify. I don't know whether we're gonna put this out. Hopefully we will, but we found it necessary you know, because we was testifying already about this, but just to record something and to kind of post it. So hopefully this will be worthy to post and it'll be, you know, received, you know, well, you know, and in this context. So this is regarding um, a brother named Garfield, Garfield Reed Dagger Squad. Now, our Chabarim, I and I friends, I and I associates, you know, I and I co-laborers, you know, those who we are in tighter communication, more regular communication, especially in the service, you know, who are kind of co-laboring and serving together. So we communicate, we come across things, we hear ones and ones say things out there, whether in the black consciousness, you know, um, what they call it, the blackest sphere or the black consciousness sphere of like the social media, um, YouTubes especially, or Facebook, people make posts and, you know, ones might shoot it to I and say, hey, what you think about this? So you heard so-and-so said that, so forth and so on. So sometimes I might give a private commentary, you know, like a reasonment or a point of view, right? And at other times, a few other times, we would record something. A few of them recordings regarding some things either said or, you know, put out or put across by um, Garfield, you know, Garfield Reed. Everyone knows, at least the brothers know that, you know, I just, the Garfield, that cat, he's like the Garfield cat. He's that crazy cat. And of course, yes, we know that's his name and it's no um, shade or even any shame, but it's just kind of interesting, you know, how things, you know, analogies, you know, how things reflect <laughs> other things. But let's go right here, 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 and just give a little update, uh, update. Now, we still, I think we still are at disagreement on certain subject matters, you know, and some of the videos that we did either they were concerning areas of interest, you know, such as maybe Ethiopia, or we Hebrews, Ethiopian Hebrews, or it's Imperial Majesty, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Kedamawi Hala Selassie, aka Rastafari, or about the Bible, or the Hebrews, the Israelites, or some area like that, and we know that he had um, recently um, did a book you know, and publish a book, even though from what we had, um, and I, I got to say this is straight, no, we didn't get a copy as of yet, but, you know, perhaps when the prices become a little more level, we will get a copy, check it out for ourselves, we've checked out others, and also the Hail Up to Zion Lex, you know, you know, um, we have a shared, you could say, a shared, um, shared roots, Royal Order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, Commandment Keepers, Congregation of the Living God. You know, his father, Zion Lex Abdel Lewi, or Abdel Levi. You know, his father, Rastafari, even though I don't think uh, Zion Lex is, but still there are some areas of agreement right there. He had went through this whole kind of breakdown chapter by chapter, at least a couple of chapters. I think the first chapter or so, introduction and the first part of the chapters, um, we had caught. You know, we thought it was a very interesting kind of book review. You know, he's probably a little hotter on some issues that he has with um, Brother Garfield. And there's some issues that we have, things that we have directly heard and things that others have related to us. You know, that we would like to address with, you know, Brother Garfield, Garfield Reed. And there was the recent, well, not so recent, but maybe about a year to two ago. And to heal up to the Honorable Priest Isaac. 
I and the Honorable Priest Isaac and the Institute. I right, and also to the Empress, the Empress Naya as well. We've been on their platform, you know, a couple of times, had some very good reasonings, but it was actually when Priest Isaac, Priest Isaac was on Sarnetta and he was presenting on, what's the name of it? The history, something to the effect of the history or something about Rastafari from a, like a historical perspective. I forget the exact name, but whether it was the origin or the history or something to that effect, right? Very good presentation, you know, that Priest Isaac presented right there. And then it came to the end of it where Sarnetta allowed after the presentation for some callers to ask some questions. And then right before the podcast had ended, <laughs> Garfield, Garfield calls in, you know, like, like, the, like, like his namesake, you know, just wilding out like a crazy cat and everything. He said some things, you know, because Rasta, he's a Rasta, but not Rasta in this sense, but a Rasta in this revolutionary sense. And, you know, he said, well, you know, the qualifications of being a Rasta. It's almost like he was saying that only the you know, real Rastas, as Garfield was saying, was um, <laughs> were um, Jamaican. I said, wow, 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 wow. That means that the namesake the owner of the name would not in that sense maybe in his estimation be a rastafari we see we like rastafari get him out how to sell us and also hail up to the brothers and sisters the son of man the man child's birthday 23rd of july head of creation rise of the dog star cyrus 130th anniversary right here 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 just a mention of the name of the king Hakadosh Baruchu Baruch Hashem. but here we'd like to say this right here and what we've been hearing you know recently from Garfield and observing, you know, because um, we have been very critical and we still are critical. There's some areas that still I don't think there's agreement on and there should be some discussion on by right? things that we have heard. Okay, this is one of the, you know, this is one of the things that we had um, picked up from some time earlier, maybe at the beginning of the year. We just did some research on some picks, you know, some, what do you call it, um, some some slides and presentation you know, as we do the video you're, you're, some of you are done know you know so this was right here this is not to throw no shade right here but somebody else had put that out regarding you know I think this is when he was doing um, um, credit credit adjustment and stuff like that you know helping ones with their credit and their credit rating and also heal up when he had said about ones and ones getting things like life insurance and insurance policy that's one thing that we always said about you know the Ethiopian World Federation you know, is that that is something that was ahead of its time, you know, for us, we the black people, so, so we as black Americans. So I'm Rastafari, but I'm a black American, I'm a Judahite, you know what I mean, a Yehudahite. Right now, of course, the whole thing about the 12 tribes chart is something that's been going on right there. And we have to drop that video that we did. What is right about the 12 tribes chart? No, we don't agree with the 12 tribes chart, but what is right? in essence <laughs> you know there's some aspects and we're going to give a presentation you know a brief presentation okay this is from the dagger you know who's looking up the whole dagger squad some months ago going back to the beginning of the year almost five six months we had some um some time and we basically did some research and let's let, let's see if we can get some stills right here you know some stills right here okay dagger squad dagger squad dagger squad okay here's here's him with dr york's son right here all right so what is it that we like to say? I'd like to say, yo, bro, um, some things you've been saying, Garfield, you know, concerning the perspective of the Bible. In fact, it was the whole Christianity, the whole Christianity debate is Christianity, white man's religion. And some of y'all know that we had did a presentation, a brief presentation prior to the Son and the House of Consciousness debate that was supposed to go on and that did go on between Pastor Bennett and this one named Chris Harris. And it said that after, I think, 23rd of July, that was the King of Kings Earth Day, the Son of Man's Earth Day. You know, that was an important day, but that's the day that Sarnetta and the House of Consciousness had decided to do, you know, what they decided to do, right? And have that particular debate, right? Let's just go here, you know? This is another, another Garfield, not that Garfield, right? Right? And here we're just promoting, promoting these ones and ones. They are our people, right? They are our people. You know, um, 
And as His Majesty says that, you know, we as black people, or more specifically as Ethiopian, in the ancient sense, the ancient sense, the Tobians, Tobia, Tobia, the archaic name of Ethiopia, like to bring that out, working on some writing and evidence, you know, and, you know, linguistic science to really prove that Ethiopia, the origination, comes from an indigenous, indigenous word indigenous name that the Greeks and the Europeans you know in their classic fashion they basically kind of reinterpret you know in their own way we see this all the time all over you know even here in America many place names you know that they have adopted certain things you know from native people and after a while you just take it as you know it's just an American thing right so the same thing happened with the indigenous name of Ethiopia Tobia but what we're hearing from Brother Garvey we're hearing and Brother Garvey, Garfield, yeah, Garfield is, um, it's interesting, his take on the Christianity thing, um, it seems as though and he was even saying that, you know, what's wrong as you learn and as you grow, you know, you begin to, you know, you might not have the same opinion about certain things, and even when he's speaking about, well, you know, Jesus or, you know, the Bible, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, you know, being a real person, even Paul, you know, he spoke on that, that was on the 20... I think it was the 22nd, or maybe the podcast was uh, on Sunday, the 22nd of July or the 23rd, around that time. And his presentation there, and a few other places we heard him. It's like for a moment, you know, we didn't really hear or see from him, like on the, you know, Sardinetta platform when I would get to hear or whatnot like that. I even asked my wife, I said, hey, you, you hear anything about this one or that one? Because I know that. You know, she goes around to certain platforms, you know, and as she's doing certain works and doing, you know, working in her office or around the house, she'll listen, you know, to certain things off the tube, right? And let me know, or I would, you know, I would go from the king's chamber to the queen's chamber, and then, you know, I would hear, I said, who's that? And they said, oh, they're debating about this, they're debating about that, you know? Um, misconception of the Bible and black Hebrew Israelites. So I'm not going to comment on that particular book from how he presented it. And what he presented from it, there were disagreements that I had, you know, we could say academically, you know, with what I heard when he was reading and sharing some things and giving his opinion on it. Now, as I mentioned, um, Zion Lex went into a little bit more on his platform, so forth and so on. I guess those brothers, you know, they have, you know, an ongoing maybe a debate or debates, right? So right here. We're saying right here, give thanks, Brother Garfield. Still look at the eyes of brother. And something that you said is that, you know, uh, there was a brother that came on and you said, you're a part of the Dagger Squad. And <laughs> the brother said, for real? Oh, really? You know? And I think Sonetta was like, yo, watch out what you're doing. You know, you're creating like a monster or something like that. And he said something that was instrumental. He says, you can only really be so-called friends or work with or, you know, invite into what he's doing those who are able to disagree with him you know and i thought that was an honorable that's an honorable perspective you know because i only find those that do have a disagreement or are presenting a point of disagreement that causes me to either have to review what i already know or what i already think i know I have to go over that again but a couple of interesting words he said not to regard regurgitate everything oh this particular point was, he said, the Caesar, the Jesus, uh, what's that? Caesar's Messiah is garbage. Brother, brother, brother. Because we've been saying these things to Chabarim, our, our fellow disciples, you know, our co-laborers, you know, Rastafari Jews, Rastafari Israelites. They don't know that, you know what I mean? Because we've mentioned that before. You know, we haven't gone into a full presentation on it, but when we... You know, we're told, you know, what the, was being said, and then we went to check it out for ourselves. We saw so many points of um, poor, not just poor scholarship, but there was a lot of things that basically didn't line up with that. And we basically said that was garbage as well. It's just that we seem to agree on a few things, you know. I'm seeing that we agree on a few more things, maybe now, than we agreed on before. But there's still some areas that we don't agree on <laughs> you know there's still some areas that or we have not come to agreement on or he has not readdressed at some points he readdressed and say well since that time he's learned more he looked at different scholarship different academic and you know um resources 
right, and information, and based on the latest data or based on new information, as you said, there's nothing wrong to change based on that new information. And there was this breakdown on Christianity in the pre-debate, the pre-Pastor um, uh, Bennett, you know, versus uh, Chris Harris debate on whether Christianity is a white man's religion. How he had briefly talking about Garfield, how Garfield had briefly went through a kind of a historical breakdown of time and time periods. Now, here's one point. That particular area where he talked about Ethiopia, I think it was Simon Templer. Hail up Simon Templer. I don't know if you remember. I and us from Brooklyn College, you know, where um, Leonard Jeffries came up and you also had performed at Brooklyn College. You remember the old, um, what was that called, Reggae Lounge as well? This is going back like, chan, it's going back almost more than 20 years, almost 30 years, talking about Simon Templer when that first tune had dropped back in the days, you know. Um, I got to know him around um, the Bushwick. I, I used to live over in 50 Stuyvesant, you know, the Roosevelt, you know, the Roosevelt projects in that area. Kind of grew up around there. And then also went to uh, Brooklyn College, you know, and we used to have these events, you know, back in the early 90s. That's when we recall the black conscious community. You know, those were the, um, I would dare say maybe golden, you know, the golden age of the black conscious community, right? The golden age. You know, I think we have something to value right here, right now, but we still are in it. So let's continue to stay in it to win it and to see the growth that we are perceiving, at least on a certain level, of Brother Garfield Reed's, his, um, his scholarship, you know, like I mentioned before, his writing a book, uh, all for that. I think we all as, as scholars and researchers, whether we are great writers or whether we're not great writers, because when I look over some of the history of our black writers, black men and women and even children that wrote, you know, over the hundreds of years when we were able and when we took the advantage to write, you know what I mean? A lot of these books are not like on the level that today today's people will say is maybe great so-called literature but it's important because of the communication of a thought the communication of a fact an event because of the communication and the, the communion that we can have with our we say ancestors with the past you know so we can have a better consciousness right both of the present and a better trajectory moving into the future you know so on the Christianity, he spoke something about the Ethiopian Orthodox Church in the 4th century. Now, he's going to do a video concerning what is Ethiopian Christianity, right, only as old as the 4th century. You know, just to, to, to reason on that particular subject matter. Because we say that there's, a, there's two schools of thought, even in Ethiopia, concerning this particular matter. As well as with the Solomonic Davidic Dynasty. There's two schools of thought. One says that Ethiopian Christianity or Christianity in Ethiopia began or started when the state religion was established by Azana, roughly the 4th century, right? And others say, no, 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 nay. This idea of Christianity or the Messiah, the Hebrew, the Israelite, in the Old Testament, from the Old Testament roots, the Moshiach, this idea and concept later to be known as Christos or Christ consciousness, right? And Christianity in Ethiopia, right, is earlier, that's the first one, right, and then some say it's later. So some of us are actually pointing to pre, pre-AD, right, and pre-AD resources and pre-AD evidence. And we know that he has gone through this on some of his, um, the Dagger Squad, Hail Up to the Dagger Squad and all the rest. They've gone through this as well. We heard one particular treatment and presentation where I think someone who, was a, a native Ethiopian from the East. He was on the Dagger Squad platform. This is some months ago. And he was talking about, uh, Gar Garfield was questioning him, right? Uh, to the point of interrogation, questioning to interrogating him, but questioning him about the Ethiopic Bible. And I think the brother was zealous, but he, he was a little, maybe overzealous. I think he slipped in how he presented it. He was talking about like all the Bibles, all the scriptures in Ethiopia, like all the Bibles are the same. 
And then Garfield retorted saying that, oh, well, yeah, that's because that come from the Septuagint. So he was claiming, Garfield was making the claim that the Ethiopian Bible is not that old, that's based on the Septuagint version, right, that we know, basically, at least the later translations, the connection with the nine saints of Ethiopia. We don't want to give it all out right here. These are some of the areas that we disagree on. But his, um, his rational and scholastic approach, when you talk about Serapis, we heard him say Serapis. He said the Serapis was a forgery, the whole Serapis forgery. It was like, Chan, that's a great way to put it, right? Because that's also something that we have known for years, you know, is a false. It's like a false positive that many in the black conscious community, because some of our elders from before had sought to make these links because they were trying to point to black overtly and obviously black culture vis-a-vis -vis this whitewash Judeo-Christianity. Right? That's what a lot of our elders were seeking to do, to point us to our own, um, you could say, ethnic and, and racial roots, you know, of, of history and also spirituality and to get us out of that whitewashed mentality or, biblically speaking, living in the image of the beast. You know what I mean? And so many of our scholars in many of their writings, they were researching other scholars, a lot of European, and when I say European, Anglo-Americans, whether from England or whatnot, or Europe, the continent, or American scholars, you know, over the previous century that were questioning um, white Anglo-Saxon was Christianity. You have them, a lot of the white people, a lot of the white people themselves, a lot of the white people themselves, um, like ones like Macy, right, wasn't all down with white Jesus, Caesar, Kaiser, Borgia. It wasn't all down to, with, you know, with that, you know, papacy or even the Protestantism. A lot of white people felt burdened, right, even by their own white Christianity. See, we have to look at things in the reality. They, they felt burdened by it. So you have a lot of ones like, for example, you get Budge. When Budge goes to Egypt and others and they find certain ancient documents and can you know, comprehend certain things about resurrection and salvation and justification and righteousness and all of these things, they begin to say, well, this is where the Bible come from. This is the origin because now they found something that they could rate and date to be older than the Western Gentile Christianity version. So you have to remember that white people, not all white people are white Anglo-Saxon Protestant Christian and not all Anglo-Saxons are Anglos, not all white, even Anglo-Saxons are Protestant or, or agree with it. You know what I mean? So even before this day today of people like expressing, you know, either uh, atheist or non-religious uh, or, or um, organized, uh, you know, anti-organized religion approach to their spirituality or their worldview, it ain't nothing new. We have in previous history, we have the time they call the... Um, um, not just the Reformation, but there was what they call it. They call it the begins with an R too, if I'm correct. It's called the um, um, Romance, right? The Romanticism. There's an age of Romanticism. There's different ages of in in Europe to America of white people's consciousness as they went from this um, this this religious thing coming up from you know, the, the Roman Empire and, and Roman Catholicism, you know what I mean, as they broke away from that and like then the, the so-called Enlightenment Age, the Enlightenment Age too, right? The Enlightenment Age, I think, is what I was thinking about, but the Romanticism grew out of that, where they started to have other concepts that were not the traditional, you know, Christian, white Christian or biblical ideas. So even white people were seeking to break out of this this white, wash Christianity thing, right? And when Egypt was discovered, right, you know, at least when, when they started to grave rob and, and steal stuff, but then start to translate and get some knowledge from these things and share and disseminate these things, this is where a lot of the Europeans started to kind of um, pit ancient Egypt versus the Bible and even say, well, ancient Egypt was where the Bible came from. And then a lot of our black scholars began to do the same thing because it met the objective, the aim and objective of the time, and the aim and objective of the time, right? The aim and objective of the time was simple. 
the aim and objective of the time was to restore to black people, like to baptize. Like we say, Marcus Garvey, like a black John the Baptist. He came to baptize black people in a kind of a pro-black consciousness, a pro-black and we could say Ethiopian, according to the, you know, the primary, you know, um, resource and evidence, you know, a black and a pro-Ethiopian to come up from this Negro, this colored, you know, this byword, you know, to once again to seek to grasp an identity for ourselves based on education, based on the intellect, based on study, based on research, and to also put it into effect, right, to also apply the knowledge, so to gain the knowledge of ourselves, but also to put forward that application of it. So we're looking at our history overall, and we have to break down the different periods. So when we heard Garfield break down like Christianity into the different periods of Christianity, right, and also dismiss, you know, the Serapis rhetoric, you know, there's a Serapis rhetoric where they say, well, it comes from Serapis, and also speak about, well, the existence of one who the world calls Jesus Christ, or Yeshua HaMoshiach, not from a religious perspective, not from a religious point of view, but from a true his historical point of view, and there's other things I've heard that Garfield has said more recently that, you know, I have to say, Chant, we, we just was talking about this a couple of months ago, we were just talking about that a couple of months ago. Not saying whether he heard it or didn't hear it or not, but one thing as good as the growth and the iron sharpened iron. So I know he must have heard something more or less because we also have expressed disagreement, you know, with some of the conclusions that he brought forward. Even when he had this white guy come on his platform to, you know, discuss the um, the, the the genealogy of, of of the kings or descent of the kings, the king's list of of Ethiopia that Haile Selassie, that Rastafari, Rastafari Mekonan presented before the coronation on the throne of King David in Ethiopia. You know, and there's some other matters too, but if we get that opportunity, perhaps, you know, we can do something, we can reason on that. But um, just want to say, um, you know, we, 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 we agree, you know, with Garfield's um, academic his, his academic take on certain matters regarding Christianity, Christ, you know, the existence, Jesus' existence, you know, um, and, 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 and Paul, you know, on a level. Because it just points to what the real view of history, if we really are viewing what the evidence is saying, right? Not superimposing whatever our particular religious or spiritual or whatever cultural ideas that we might have right that can maybe come into play but that should come into play after we first address what does the facts say what does the evidence say because one thing presenting the evidence right and it's the next thing now presenting the evidence and say now reading into the evidence because we can read into the evidence and maybe some of that is true right but first let's present to the people the facts so we see that he presented some very good and relevant facts you know, recently, and it seems as though he was saying that, well, you know, people might say his position has changed, and his position hasn't changed from a, a religious, a believer point of view, right? Because he says he basically doesn't believe in it, like, in, in, in a religious believer sense, but from an academic point of view. So by hearing him say those sort of things and point out the facts to back up what he said shows me that truly he is, he is striving for this um, scholarly approach, right? Not to say that we agree on everything, but there are some things that we do agree on, and I like to share that, you know, with our brothers and with our audience as well, right there. I know some might say, like, like, you know, who's Garfield? Well, he's he's one of our brothers out there. He's influential, and he touches on subject matters that are of special interest, you know, that are of interest to us as well, because as they affect, you know, as they either effect or affect like positively effect or adversely affect our people, therefore they're of interest to us. But anyway, not to be long-winded right here, 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 but he's still a crazy cat, you know, and when he had came on the Priest Isaac um, presentation on Sarnetta, we thought it was a little disrespectful in some ways and everything, how he came forward. But, you know, we could always read that from a different perspective as well. But anyway, anyway, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dagger, 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 dagger squad. So anyway, brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers, 
little more. Check us out, Rastafari Jews, also LOJS.org, LOJS.org. As we said, we're seeking to work on some, you know, some, some documentation. When I say documentation to the video, the video, we have video documentation, but we like to also present that like in writing and also to encourage other brothers and sisters, you know, in presenting their ideas, whether doing videos, but also present the ideas in writing. And also to Gar uh, Garfield, seek to get a copy of your book soon, you know, um, so we can, you know, review, you know, review that for ourselves and, you know, compare it with what we have heard and also both from yourself and also from others who have, you know, both positively, you know, given a thumbs up and some of those who have given it thumbs down. But, you know, great work there as well. Continue to improve and refine, you know, your craft and, and your presentation, you know, and the information as well. So, you know, um, more to come, more to come. Yah willing. Yes, I. Rastafari. Yes, I. Okay, there we go.